We introduce EV to blur nerf, a new method that exploits event-based cameras to recover sharp radiance fields from motion blurred images. Unlike methods only relying on images, we show that thanks to events, our method is capable of restoring fine and sharp details even if they are completely lost in the input motion blurred training images. Our method combines model-based priors with learning-based modules to effectively merge blurred images and event data into a unified, sharp radiance field. Contrary to traditional cameras, which capture images by exposing the frame to light for a fixed duration, event cameras are made of independent pixels that respond to changes in brightness as they occur, featuring sub-millisecond delay and microseconds temporal resolution. As a result, event cameras are significantly more robust to motion blur than traditional ones, which makes them ideal for recovering radiance fields in scenarios involving motion. Starting with a motion blurred image with known middle exposure pose, our method begins by estimating the camera's motion during the exposure. We then use the set of transformed rays for volumetric rendering. This involves first sampling explicit tensorial features, which are then fed into a multi-layer perceptron to render the colors. Next, we combine the latent sharp colors to create a blurred rendering, which is compared with the original blurred image. We repeat this process at both coarse and fine levels, further refining the composite weights with an adaptive module. Since motion blurred images can exhibit severely corrupt details, relying solely on these images does not guarantee consistent deblurring results. We employ event-based cameras to overcome this issue. An event pixel continuously monitors the logarithmic brightness and generates an event whenever it crosses a predefined threshold, theta. Given two consecutive events, we first render the pixel at two camera positions and map the pixel values to brightness with a function h. Then, we compute the difference in logarithmic space and supervise this quantity using the ground truth camera observation. In our formulation, the radiance field is shared between both events and colors. However, the RGB and the event camera pixels might respond to light differently, potentially leading to suboptimal results. We address this issue by introducing an event camera response function, which learns to bridge this gap and increase robustness to event camera noise. We notice that, while increasing the rendering quality, the learnable response function can sometimes overly enhance the contrast of certain details. To address this, we exploit the event-based double integral, EDI, a formulation that relates latent sharp images with events captured during exposure. This allows us to compute a deblurring prior, which we use to supervise the mid-exposure color, leading to improved rendering quality. We test our method on both synthetic and real-world data. On synthetic scenes, we outperform methods that use only images as well as method that first deblur images and then train a nerf. Additionally, we surpass recent event-based nerf formulations such as eNerf, which does not explicitly model motion blur, and e2nerf, which only utilizes events during image exposure without leveraging additional priors and learnable response functions. Our method achieves approximately 3 decibels higher PSNR than image-only methods and 4 decibels higher than event-based methods. We see a similar trend on real-world scenes. In this data, all pixels exhibit consistent motion blur across the whole video, preventing image-only methods from exploiting views where certain regions of the scene might appear less blurred, which causes these methods to perform poorly. While event-based methods perform better, our method still outperforms them, showing an average of 2.5 decibels higher PSNR. Additionally, we demonstrate that exploiting events even outside of the exposure time leads to better results across different speeds, as well as when only a few images are available for training. Our method can achieve around 30 decibels of PSNR when just five images are used for training. Please visit our GitHub page to access code, data, and additional materials.